Hello YouTube, Mike Wagaman, Mushroom Rangers here. Um, just putting together a steam sterilizer, putting a video together to show you how to make one. Um, they're pretty reliable. And they last, uh, I've had the two I have up in my building, I think I've had for like two years. So they're doing pretty good. Um, so all the parts you're going to need, you're, obviously you're going to need a 55 gallon steel drum if you can't or if you don't have enough money for stainless steel, steel drums with removable lids are great. You're going to need a pressure gauge. You're going to need a ball valve. doesn't matter what size, one inch, half inch, whatever. As long as it's a ball valve, it'll be open and shut. <clears throat> You're going to need a screw-in water heating element, 120 volts. Uh, the bracket. That you would use to put it into the hot water heater. So you can go to Lowe's. Any any hardware store they should have them. Um, I got this thing from the hardware store. It's a piece of rubber. Cost me like a dollar. Um, that's what's going to seal off. Because once I drill holes into this. Into the drum. Um, it, I need to be able to seal it. So water doesn't leak out. So instead of using RTV and making it look all gaudy and stuff, so I'm going to try to use this. Obviously, this is going to go in like this. Obviously, down there on the bottom. And then this little thing is going to go on the inside of the drum. So when I put the bolts in, this is on the inside, this is on the outside. So when it seals, it should produce a water tight seal and that's what you want you don't want water leaking out so that's where I'm gonna put the uh, water heating element I'm gonna put a ball or a drain valve so that way I can drain it out um, for when you're gonna make one of these you're gonna need some sort of insulation because you need to be able to trap the heat inside the barrel um, being that it's gonna get up to like 220 degrees you don't want um, heat radiate, radiating out through the steel. So what I did is um, I had a couple plastic barrels that I got from the barrel lady that uh, I thought I had an, a genius idea of making like a huge big mono tub out of two of them stacked on top of each other. Um, it worked for a little bit. I, I grew some mushrooms in there, but it wasn't perfect. So all I did was uh, I tore up, I uh, cut them apart. Uh, two of them obviously and put them together wrapped it around the barrel um, and then ratchet strapped it for now until I get uh, the heating element in and to make sure it's uh, watertight and then once I'm done with that I'm gonna use the old duct tape the gorilla gorilla tape wherever it's at I have it here somewhere <sighs> Good old gorilla tape and then just tape it the whole way around to keep it sealed um i know i said you wanted to insulate but this this doesn't really matter i mean a lot of a lot of the heat won't escape out of it too much you just want most of the heat uh about you know most of the most of the way up especially when you fill it full of water so uh that it keeps all the heat in there and then um purpose of the ball valve is to let it vent again this is a zero pressure you don't want pressure so what am I going to do I'm going to make another uh, ad ad adaptation to this where I'm going to have a pipe sticking out on this side right here and then it's going to go down and then it's going to hook to another drum so what's going to happen is all the steam It'll get piped out of this drum into another drum that way I'm only using one heating element versus two so it makes it more efficient that way I can run two barrels at once only using one one heating element versus two uh, the barrels that I got up there are two barrels that have two heating elements in it um, so and then what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to get a uh, an insert some sort of insert uh, if you watch my previous videos um, you can go to any, any distributor and get an empty keg for 30 bucks, cut it, cut it in half or however high you want it 
depending on how many blocks you're going to be able to uh, you want to put in here or whatever how many pounds I usually do eight to nine pound blocks and I can fit 28 in this barrel so 28 blocks and then if you get another one that's 56 blocks so if you're just starting out 28 blocks is probably a good way to go that way you can uh, start out with 14 and then the next week inoculate them another 14 so you'll probably be pushing like 10 pounds a week that sort of thing off of one steam sterilizer um, again um, it, you should be able to find these I, I can find them I mean they're everywhere if not eBay has them you know it's just you'll just have to pay a little bit more if you want it shipped uh, or if you can find local pickup that would be great so um, this is just stage one once you gather all the parts um, I'll be building this over the next week so this is just step one getting all the parts together and figuring it all out and then step two I'll show you after I've drilled the holes and put it all together and stuff and uh, I'll probably use one of my inserts from my other barrels that I made out of a plastic barrel I just it was a 35 gallon drum that I ordered off of eBay, cut the bottom out, made a barrel or made a platform, reinforced it, and that way it just slips down over the heating element. Works great. Uh, it won't melt, doesn't rust, so uh, stay tuned. Uh, blessed be and keep it fun, guys.